Hi everyone, greetings of the days. Today I have made tutorial video to explain the ABC body cost reports and breakdowns that I ever posted on LinkedIn. You could check this program there. Well, let me review this program. This program consists of six worksheets, starting from entry section, okay, as seen on the screen here, as well as home or head office project cost table here. This is for one year project operations starting from January 2022 till December 2022. Okay. Yes. And side office project cost table. This is also for one year project operations starting from January 2022 till December 2022 okay also this program generate four project cost report starting from project cost control report and then project cost cash flow report here yes project cost balance and the last one is project cost breakdown let me review this project cost report one by one. We back again to project cost control report. In this section, you will see the project contract here and the budget plan here. Actually, you should input both of them manually, but don't worry, I have made a link for these data already, so the data has filled automatically. And cost incurred during the project, they divided into two sections between home office and side office. Home office divided for previous month, last month, this month, today. Side office also divided for previous month, last month, this month, and today. In the right section, you will see remaining costs, remaining costs, remaining costs to the budget plan, and remaining costs to the budget plan and remaining cost to contract okay cash flow in this project cash flow you will see project cost per month yes project cost per month yes between against between plans against actual for one year project operation represented by the number starting from 1 till 12 okay in the below section you will see case out schedule total case out schedule total case out actual uh, total case in schedule net progress payment uh, and balance means Net progress payments plus project loans and minus cash out actual. Also, the section equipped with project cash flow curve, which are interpretation and showing the project cash flow into a curve. Okay, then any project cost balance, sorry, any project cost balance in the section you will see the comparison between paid progress billing yes yes paid progress progress billing yes 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 between paid progress billing and the project cost incurred during the project yes that represented represented in the total and in a percent also it's balance yes also it's balance and project cost breakdown yes in this section you will see the comparison between budget plan here and the project cost incurred during the, this project that divided into two classification yes between side office here yes and home office here yes for one year project operation now we will check how to operate this program, this project cost program. We back again to entry section. Okay. 
to operate this program you only need to input all project calls incurred during this project but don't forget to complete with order number month of transaction project cost location in the form of letter st means site office project cost ho mean home office project cost also project cost code in the form of letter starting from a the stand for material and consumable b stand for direct labor c stand for for equipment and so on until s that stand for for the stand for bank interest let's practice it okay since this table as seen on the screen already fills with some data first let us make the section empty okay then the section is empty already first of all let's look at the total number in this entry section because there is no data fields in this section then the total number in this section should also be empty or zero let me check okay you could see here the total project expenditure for this project is in, in is in empty or zero okay then we will check all project cost report one by one first we check the project cost control report yes there is no data here yes it's turn out that the project cost data is empty or zero you could see here yes there is no data for project cost expenditure then project cash flow yes it is the same for the actual cost is in the empty condition also and the last one and the sorry for project cost balance yes project cost balance here yes you could see in the right section yeah there is no project cost data okay then the last one for project cost breakdown here's okay there is no data also there is all all section is in empty or zero then we back again to entry section all right then we build this entry section again with the project cost data that we previously needed next we check the total amount of project cost expenditure in this entry section okay okay and the total project cost is at hundred seventy nine million seven hundred fifty seven thousand two hundred and fifteen rupees then we check one by one all project cost report whether the amount is the same or not as in this entry section okay first let me check the project cost control report okay and it's an out okay it's an out okay this is the total project expenditure in this section so it's an out that that the amount is the same also 879 million 750 757,000 200 and 15 rupees then project cash flow okay 
take care flow this is the total gas out and it's enough that the, that the amount is also the same at 179 million 757 and 215 rupees next project cost balance okay this is the total project cost, project cost expenditure so the amount is also the same at 179 million seven hundred fifty seven thousand two hundred and fifteen rupees and this is some same also for the project cost breakdown yes project cost breakdown the total the total overall project cost is eight hundred seventy nine million seven hundred fifty seven thousand two hundred and fifteen okay okay from these facts it can be said that all project cost report in this program are in synchronous with each other are in synchronous with each other and it shows that all sections in this program are operating properly with no errors the project cost data in this program is only inputted yes it's only inputted yes it's only inputted till may during the project operation this is purposive sample only where the actual project cost will be as your project nature okay okay i inform you this program is specifically for construction project on large scale you can see in this entry section yes okay in this entry section okay yes it's cover it's cover up it's cover up to 30,000 transaction or equivalent to 2,500 transaction per month or equivalent to 100 transaction per day for 35 working days I remind you that this program required a, a separate PC or laptop with high capabilities so that this program doesn't run slowly. Okay. I want to show a unique uniqueness section, unique section of this program, which is in the project cost control report. Okay, yeah. Okay, I will show you the unique of this program. If you want to know your project expense in a previous month, because in this project operation, we only input the project cost data till May. So if you want to know project cost expenditure in the month of April, you only need to change this number in this month of section then all your project expense will show expense in April okay for example you change this by the number four sorry yes okay so the total project expenditure is in April and so on if you want to know action project cost report in mark and you just you just type the section by three okay then all section will turn out and main, and notify project cost expenditure is in mark okay and so on okay and i will type again this by five yes to bank the data in the the project cost report data in the month of may okay okay 
Furthermore, yes, furthermore, you will easily, you will easily find out if there are remaining costs that are minus or exceeding the contract or plans that the number will appear in red color. For example, we could see here, yes, this is showing in the red color, okay. So what does it mean? Means you have to immediately discuss these cases with your project management team to immediately find out what the cause, what the cause is by tracking the expense section and immediately find out solution. Okay? Okay? This program could be updated for next year period uh, this program could be updated for next year period project operations means this program shall be valid forever okay okay this my explanation for this project cost program i hope you all understand and now how to upgrade it or if something is still unclear or if you have any question regarding to the project cost program, please contact me by email at imranamami at gmail.com or direct message DM me through LinkedIn message. Hopefully, this project cost program is useful and don't forget to subscribe, like and comment so that my YouTube channel can grow properly. So, I am excited to continue sharing my knowledge and experience in this construction world. Thanks again for watching this video and see you in the next video. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.